The coelacanth, and yes, that's how you pronounce the name, is one of the long-standing rare fish in the Animal Crossing series. New Horizons is no exception, however it does feel a little bit easier to catch, if you can find it, that is. The coelacanth spawns in the sea all year, during any time of day, but it should be rainy on your island if you want the chance of spotting it. Its shadow size is a little bit larger and generally longer than the sea bass, although this can take some getting used to to actually learn and notice. So, you know when it spawns, and you know how it spawns, but you still can't find it? What I ended up doing during my search was walking along the beach, scaring away the smaller fish that were clearly not the one I was looking for. This game is very similar to the older Animal Crossing titles in that the bugs and fish need room to spawn. If you scare away the smaller fish that you don't need, you might stand a better chance of having the coelacanth or, you know, any other bug or fish spawn in. Another way to reset things is to enter and leave a building. I usually use the Resident Services Center. I believe this does reset the bugs and fish on your island, but of course, the game is still so new out it's not 100% confirmed yet. You'll know you found a coelacanth once you see a particularly long shadow, and if you're using the Joy-Cons or the Pro Controller, the vibration feedback you'll get while reeling this fish in is really intense. Weirdly enough, people online are saying that they've actually encountered the coelacanth during mystery tours, even when it wasn't raining. I've yet to find one this way, but if you have, feel free to let me know down below. You can sell the coelacanth for 15,000 bells, or of course donate to the museum. And that's about it. New Horizons doesn't have the save and continue quite like New Leaf did, but scaring away the fish you don't need should leave room for this monstrosity of a fish to spawn. If you found this video useful, feel free to like, comment, or maybe even subscribe. Remember, this has been Simply Press Start, where gaming is as simple as pressing start.